Hello, hello, good morning. Well, good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good day. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, how are you? It's raining hard again. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening. Fine. Thank you guys for joining. Good evening. So you're doing awesome today. Hello, hello, welcome. Today is not raining where I am leaving, but I believe it's going to rain later on. But if you have problems with the internet connection, if you have problems with the with anything with the background sound, let me know, guys, okay? If there is a big storm where you are, let us know. Today is Wednesday. We are in the middle of the week, guys. Okay, guys, so I believe we will start right now. Uh, how are you today, guys? How are you, Daniel? How are you, Osvin? Osvin is down here. How are you, uh, Jose? Great. How are you, Mabel? Good. Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm fantastic. Thanks. And great. you? I'm great. I'm just having a lot of mosquitoes in my house, and I, I, I don't like them anymore, guys. I wish I don't have mosquitoes, but you couldn't imagine how my skin is because of the mosquitoes. <laughs> it's my skin is terrible right now because of the mosquitoes. But, anyways. I don't know how to eliminate them. I don't know if it is because of the season. That is that I have a lot of mosquitoes. Do you have mosquitoes at home? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes, a lot of mosquitoes. Guys, do you have any secret to kill mosquitoes? <laughs> Cuz I don't I can I can't stand them anymore. Ya no lo soporto, vieran cómo anda la piel. Y no sé cómo. Para cómo matarlos alejar. no, pero yo sé que, que los jóvenes eh, los ahuyentan. ¿Los qué, Como, por perdón? ejemplo, si usted se pone una crema, los olores. Si usted se pone una ah. crema bastante olorosa o splash o algo así alrededor, los ahuyenta bastante. Solo eso sé claro. yo. Uh -huh. Ay, yo siento que por con nada se van. A mí me gusta. They hate the smoke. They hate the smoke, and I hate the smoke as well. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Vieran que a veces 
yo sé que a veces el auto no funciona, ¿verdad? Porque sí se van, al menos se alejan, no los mata, pero se alejan de donde usted está. Pero yo no soporto el auto, guys. Pero con cuando tengan también. un con alcohol, cuando tengan yeah. un secreto de cómo matar los mosquitos, me dejan saber, please. Que he un buscado trago y polis. un trago. <ríe> no. No, no, ponérselo en la piel, no tomárselo. Ay, la piel. No, you can no. use this one, mis almohadas. Oh, es bueno. You can use this, of course. I use it in my leg. No, uh, in... <laughs> behind, uh, behind, below, under, under the table, because uh, the mosquitoes, the mosquito bite is in my leg. <laughs> I have a mosquito by my leg. Por eso use this one. By Gon Jardín, Casa Jardín, that's uh, Casa Jardín smell. It's nice. Okay. Okay. I have you one. Try it. But it's, it's not from that brand. And it is not that one. But I will try. I will try. Yeah, I have. Try it. Yes, I will try it as well. Pero, como le digo, I have tried everything, Teacher. but if you have something that killed them, let me know. Something that killed them. Oh, <laughs> killed them. <laughs> I, I have... Uh, uh, Besides um, this, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, tengo uno, pero solo los, ale, o sea, los mantiene lejos. Oh, okay. Uh, I have this one all the citronella. time, but... Um, sometimes I get tired of killing them, <laughs> but yes, it works. It works. It works. And I love the sound whenever you're killing them. <laughs> it is because I I hate them, <laughs> guys. Uh, I hate mosquitoes. Sorry. Why don't you put a mesh on the window? I have. Teacher, I have I the um. Mosquito. Oh. Repelente. Repelente. Send me a picture. Send me a picture about okay. that. Uh -huh. Yes. Is it good? That. Is that good? Yes. It's good. That's I mosquito also have repellent. That. Really? Yes. Send me a picture about the mosquito repellent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. Ay, si les enseñar en las piernas más que todo tengo, miren, tengo hasta hoyos me he hecho quizás de cómo me han me han me han comido. Pero thank you very much guys. I really appreciate it, okay? Eh, sí si, si tengo un cuarto en el en mi cuarto en esos mos en esos mos en ese cuarto no entran los mosquitos porque tengo lo que José dijo. Tengo una malla bien bonita y no entran. Yo puedo tener la ventana y todo, pero es como que tengo que tener cuidado de no estar abriendo la puerta, sino que mantenerla cerrada todo el tiempo. Pero it works. Miss almost is showing us Charlotte. ¿Mm? Maybe we could get an advert Advice, oh, I can do. <laughs> so it's a, it's a, it's a broma. <laughs> okay. It's a joke. No. I can hear you. They are there. Están <laughs> ahí. Okay. So, cuando consiga la fórmula secreta, le voy a decir. Oh, usted. Okay. The secret for Teacher, me. Eh, dos veces, dos veces que su sonido se ha distorsionado y de repente pierde usted el, el, el sonido. Oh, de verdad, guys. No es que no le crea, Mabel, sino que quiero corroborar si esto le pasa a todos. Me, le pasa ah, a okay. todos. No se preocupe. Yes. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. sí. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you. Mm, ya voy a ver si le si sigue pasando me avisa Mabel please y le voy a poner el directo el, el cable de internet ok
So I believe we will uh, we will uh, start with the class, guys. I believe everyone is here. We have 16. Well, 15. All right. Give me just a moment. I will try to to put the internet directly to the computer. Maybe it is not gonna doing. It's not going to do this anymore. Okay, guys, so what we're going to be doing today is that we will continue with the role play, okay? Por eso estaba esperando un, un momento más para que los demás accedieran a la meeting para poder trabajar en el uh, role play, but they are not here. So we will work with the ones that we are right now. Vamos a trabajar con los que estemos, okay? Así que déjenme voy a ver los grupos que teníamos para el role play. So you can finish and then you will present it, okay? You will go ahead and perform the role play. Okay. Thank you guys. Me avisan si vuelve a pasar o si hay algún inconveniente. Eh, let me open the breaker room so we can work on this. Oh, really? Miren, no lo, I haven't tried it. Y es natural, dice. Mm, good. Thank you. Mm, yes, it seems as natural. No como los demás, ¿verdad? Que son un poco como que tienen químicos. Eso es lo que yo necesitaba ahorita. Thank you. No tiene químicos, right? Pero el olor es algo fuerte. De verdad. Pero, Pero funciona. ¿a qué? ¿A, qué, ¿A qué huele? ¿A eucalipto? Eh, a veneno. Oh my God. <risa> really? Oh, pero, wow. Pero sí funciona. Yo lo he usado solo cuando voy a la playa. Pero en casa, pues. Pruébelo. De todos modos, le va a funcionar para otras ocasiones si no le gusta. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. You're Dice, awesome. Dice. Hello, Julian Cesar. Este, este, la plaquitas. La da, does it work? Does it work? Yes, eh, este, este es mejor para los zancudos. Really? Yes, Nunca. Eh, I huele, haven't tried it. I have never tried them. Huele al principio, de ahí ya no se siente y los zancudos se van. Really? Yes, usted lo puede tener todo el, todo el día en su casa, 24 horas dura la plaquita. Y no wow. Hay really? Thank you very much. Yes. Wow. Yes. I can see that everyone has um, their own kit equipment, right? You have their your own equipment against mosquitoes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So, guys. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ezekiel, but thank you for letting us know. Yesterday, I took a pictures about the, the groups that we had. So let me open the breakout rooms again. Um, in the first group, we have Jaime, Stefania, Daniel Arquimedes, and Jose René Aguirre. So let me assign to you to the groups, okay? Angel and Stefania. Jaime is not here. Daniel Arquimedes and Jose. Jose Rene. Perfect. Okay, in the second group we have Kenny. Um we have Ezekiel. Um we have Emmanuel. And we have a meal card, but I don't know if my meal card, yes, a meal card is here. Mm, okay, perfect. And then under the group number three, we have Mabel. We have Marielos. Then we have Vanessa. 
Marielos, Vanessa, and then we have Sabrina. Okay, Sabrina is not here. Okay, perfect. And then in the group number four, we have Marcos Antonio is not here. Julio Cesar Medino, mm, Luis Alberto. Maria Dinora, you was not here yesterday, right? Christian, oh, Christian, where are you? Christian, con quien iba usted, Christian? Oh, creo que pasó algo ayer por eso. So, Christian, lo voy a mover acá. Oswin, did you have problems yesterday with the internet, right? Yes. Uh, All right. I had problems yesterday. Let's see. All right, this is what we'll do. Um, okay. And then let me join Christian and Dinora. Kenny está como listener ayer. Permítame, déjeme ayer. ¿Quién está como listener? Uh, Daniel Ezequiel, Josué Manuel. Kenny, Amilcar, um, que entre Kenny um, y, y Amilcar. Uh, ¿quién? I am listener, teacher. <laughs> Amilcar, I am listener. Oh, you're listener. Okay, 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 great. Today, right? Okay. Este la mover, mm -hmm. Marielos, we're good. Okay, we're, we're good. Siempre lo voy a mover a Amilcar solamente para que escuche, pero we're fine then, okay? I have opened okay. the breaker rooms, guys. You, You're welcome. I have opened the breaker rooms. Could you please join to the to the uh, to the breaker rooms, guys? Thank you. We will continue practicing the role play. You have ten minutes to practice it. Okay. Let's practice the role play. Yesterday's role play about the restaurant. Click in join. Jose Rene, Oswin, Kenny, Mabel, Julio, Vanessa, and Christian. Guys, please click and join. Luis Ernesto, are you a listener today? Luis? Uh, Kenny, are you a listener? Kenny, 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 are you a listener today? Okay. Kenny, all right, we will do it like that then. Thank you, guys. What do you say, Angel, Stefania? Stefania, that's okay. Hola. Está de acuerdo, are you agree? No, no, no escucho bien, no sé si. Are you okay, Stefania, to practice in this moment? Or ah, you... Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Me Are you speaking? Se corta. Yes. Hola. Hola, hola. Yes, pero poquito. Y ahora the conversation that yesterday we finished. Stephanie, no. are you agree? ¿Está de acuerdo? Sí. Okay. Cuz where is just uh, start the conversation, please. Okay. Wait. Just, uh, just one two. Teacher. Teacher. Hello. I'm Kenny. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was talking to her before. I was asking her if there was a problem or she was a listener, 
but she didn't answer. Mm -hmm. So, okay. let, let's continue. Excuse me? Oh my God, I barely hear you. Jugo de azúcar, did you say? Yes, Uy, no it, it, it's, it's because Jose Manuel, uh, she, he ordered uh, a coffee. coffee. So oh, I, and, jugo de azúcar. Oh, how how much sugar you have you want in your coffee? Oh, sorry. Que, que casi no le escucho. Um, so yes, it's how much? How much sugar do you want? Or how many spoons of how many spoons of sugar do you need? Spoons. The size is spoons. spoons. Or... How, how many spoons of sugar do you need? Mm -hmm. And it I becomes, can answer, well, yes, I want two spoons or one spoon. Yeah, there you sure. go. Mm -hmm. uh, one okay. spoon, two spoons, because it becomes countable. And because it, it becomes countable, you say how many. But if you will uh, ask, for example, uh, you don't have a, um, a way of measure it, then you said um, how much? Guys, is that okay if I join Dinora here to the group? And she can be with you because she is alone and now that you're missing yes. one? All right, I will ask it's her okay, to. Okay. Hello, hello, Dinora. Hi. Hello, Dinora, thank you for joining. Um, sorry that you was with Christian, but I don't know where he is right now. So... Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, Dinora, we will go ahead and practice with Emmanuel and Ezekiel. We are uh, doing a role play in which you are at the restaurant. Let me see. Yes, in which you are at the restaurant and you are ordering something. So, one of you will be the waiter. Escucha and... cortado. Casi no le, no le escucho. Los demás me escuchan cortado, guys. Yeah. No. no. I can't no, hear better sorry. player. Dinora, estamos haciendo como un role play. Déjeme ver. Sí, creo que ella tiene problemas con el internet. Maybe if sí, she turn off the camera, maybe it's better for us. Mm, yes. Ando buscando ahorita para mandarle un mensaje. Let me see. Se ha complicado mucho lo del internet últimamente, right? Because of the storms. Yes, for the storms. Because Serious, of the storms. Now. Really? Okay, yes. let's do something, guys. Uh, try to continue with the same conversation. Don't change it. And whenever Dinora is back, try to uh, try to uh, uh, let's see, give her some role. Algún role ahí que, que puede utilizar en el rope. Okay. Yes, okay, Thank you very much, Kai. I really appreciate it, okay? Yes, okay Thank, you. Thank you so much. You're the best. Oh, you too, guys. Thank you. Okay, Jose okay, Manuel. You. Do you prefer uh, uh, now, now I add uh, the, the Yes, uh, we need a table for two, please. Okay, no problem. Please uh, follow me. Eso no está ahí, pero falta eso de que van a entrar y le voy a dar una mesa. Okay. Um... Ahorita me llego. Yo también se lo estoy enviando. Bye. Okay. Marielos. <coughs> Ahí sí está algo mal escrito, me Yo creo que está más o menos. <laughs> Teacher. 
Hello, hello, girls. I hello, have a teacher. question. If we can express entradas about food, what is the correct word? Teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pero es que le estaba fallando bastante. Uh -huh. Hola. Ahorita sí, teacher. Creo que fue my, my headset then. Ahorita ya no. Permítame. <risa> no. ¿Me escuchan ahora, chicas? Ahorita sí, teacher. Ah, ok. Creo que sí fue problema del headset. Y yo pensé que el internet era o algo, pero no era el headset. Yo tampoco las escuchaba. Dígame, no. chicas. Sorry. Ok. Eh, eh, if we can express entrada, but about food, what is the word? Ah, that would be the starters Because... or appetizers. Mm. Starters appetizers. or appetizers. Mm -hmm. Uh, started with D. It's like a starter. A starter. Uh -huh. a starter. Okay. Thank you. Or uh -huh, mm -hmm. a starter or uh, appetizers. Okay, thank you. Lo de fillet es fillet. Fillet. Ah. Porque me recuerdo que estuvimos viendo que era este. Eh, ajá. ¿En filete, teacher? Steak. No, no es carne, vea. Ajá, stick. Stick, eso. Ajá. Pero, ajá, es el filete, entonces. Yo no sé, ajá. Y cuando lo pongo ahí, me sale solo filet o, o filt. No, no ah. me acuerdo. Filete, me parecía. Sorry, guys. Sorry, girls. Filete, ¿de qué sería? Uh, ¿Qué tipo de carne? Sí. What type of, of ah, meat? Porque, porque aquí estamos hablando claro. de pescado. Ok. So, in that, in that case, will be like uh, fish, fish, tic. Fish, tic. Let me see. Yes. Fish, tic. Fish, fish, tic. Ok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lo practicamos. O oh, oh, otra. Uh -huh. Yes. Otra sí, sí. palabra. Es que es, quiero ver. ver porque, no sé. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. Vegetables. Mm -hmm. O agregamos algo más. Mm -hmm. eh, example, we can, we can to Mariela is the sales there. Uh -huh. She's the The person to serve, to serve uh -huh. the food. Hmm? I don't remember the word. <laughs> okay, but we can uh, use at finish uh, something like um, Do you have uh, Do you have discount if we pay? If we pay it pay in cash? cash. Solo um, eso como para el final. Esa es la parte que, que piden la cuenta. Antes, antes de things, ajá. Ahí, o sea, porque no hemos puesto algo así, va como que 
solo hemos llegado hasta que se sirve, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, hasta Entonces, que le sirve. Ah, uh -huh. Ajá, pero ¿cómo se pide la cuenta? Can you... Can you give Can me... You give the... me? Ajá. Can you give me? Pero, ajá, la cuenta, ajá. no sé. Ahorita déjeme ver un segundito. Sería Mabel, ¿verdad? Diría, de, después de que yo le sirva la comida, sería Mabel. Sería, no. Ajá. Bueno. ¿Nos puede dar o nos puede traer la uh -huh. Cualquiera de esos, no me estaría bien. Permítame. Guys, bill. you can say, can, can I have the bill? The bill. Pueden preguntar, uh -huh. Uh -huh. can I have, can I have the bill? Uh -huh. Can I have, okay. Can I have the bill? Can I have the, uh, the bill? Um, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> but that's, that's okay. I share now, okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Repeat again. Okay. Start you. Good day. I hope you are well and enjoy your food. What would you like to order? Good evening, Mr. I would like to try the hot chocolate and one piece of cheesecake. Okay. And you, Miss? I don't like to. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to order? Can I take your order? Uh, what do you recommend me? I have a food and pizza. Okay. Uh, I I will. Like something hot. Uh, no, sí, something. something. O what? sea, I, I, I would like um, cualquier cosa. O sea, I would like um, pizza or I would, I would like um, and chicken. Es que el ah, something que pedir es, el plato. Es, Sí, ok. Something solo es para decir, o sea, algo. O sea, tú tienes que decir algo. I would like a um, pizza, I would like a um, hamburger. Okay, o sea, I, a mí I, me gustaría... I would, like, I would like pizza. Ok, así es. Uh -huh. Very good, good choice. Uh, if, if for me, I would like um, chicken uh, with onion. Chicken with onion. With onion. Pues, Pollo con cebolla. Yes. <laughs> okay. El cebollado. Cebollado. Uh, would you like um, some pie or would you like a glass of wine? Yes. yes. Um, um, for me, glass, uh, glass it to water, please. A water. Glass of water. water. Okay, water no problem. Teacher, I hate so much the internet. <laughs> I am sorry. Yes, so, so. <laughs> but so. did you practice? <laughs> no? Yes. Alcanzamos a practicar con José Manuel. And Jose Manuel is not here anymore. <laughs> Don't worry. Yes. Guys. We'll go back just in one minute, okay? Yes, teacher.
Hello, hello guys. Thank you for joining back. I will go through the attendance list before we start with the practice, with the role play, okay? Okay. Do me a favor guys Thank and you. stay present and turn on the camera, please. Just one moment. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Cristian Josué Lopez Perez. Present. Okay. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Garcia. Present teacher. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana El Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Mm. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Tiene problemas con su inter teacher. Oh, ok, thank you, Kenny. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. María Dinora Llanes Hernández. Present teacher. María, uh, sorry, Marielos. Sí. Present teacher. Thank Estoy you. teniendo problemas con el internet, así que no pude oh. conectarme a la, a la red a la otra reunión de los grupos pequeños. No se preocupe, Nora. Muchas gracias por dejarnos saber. Que lo siento que estamos teniendo problemas con el internet, guys. De igual manera, yo le tuve que ponerle el cable al internet directo porque sí se estaba, estaba fallando un poco. Creo que sí es por lo que, por la lluvia, ¿verdad? Que ha estado así. Eh, así que pues cualquier cosa me dejan saber, voy a estar pendiente y muchísimas gracias por su esfuerzo, ok? Actually, now it is start raining. Ok, a Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Oswin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. José René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Nelson Vladimir Flores Martínez. Ok, great. All right, guys. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we will start with the role, please. All right. We will go ahead and practice uh, in groups. So who wants to be the number one, number one group? Cool. 
<laughs> Who oh, said Sabrina? Yes, what? Sabrina is not here. Sabrina, Estefania, sorry. <laughs> ah, Stefania. Stefania, Jose Guerra, a mí. Ah, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Daniel. Let's do it, okay? Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's do it, please. I'm the waiter. Daniel is the customer and Angela other customer. Okay. Hello, good day. I hope you are well and enjoy your food. What would you like to order? Hi, good evening. I would like to try uh, the hot chocolate and one piece of chip cake. Okay, and you, miss? I don't like the coffee. I want the milkshake and apple pie. Wait. Um, okay, with wool or skim milk? A skim milk, please. Okay, Senor Daniel and Miss Angela, would you like something else? Yes, I would like to add two cookies and one bottle of water and with normal temperature, please. Only for a moment. A few minutes later. Hi, I bring you order. And ten, um, it looks delicious. A few minutes later. Boy, sure. can you try the check, please? Okay, sir, Daniel. Of course. How would they pay? Um, I will pay with credit card. Okay, thanks. Have a good day. Finish. Okay, <laughs> thank you. All right, very good, guys. A round of applause for you. You did an amazing job. Perfect. Thank you. Very good, guys. Okay, so I just have just some words that we can use uh, whenever we're talking about restaurants or whenever we're talking about payment methods, right? Let's see. Um, we can say, like, for example, in order for you to request the I mean, whenever you want to know how much it's gonna be, right? You can say, can you bring the bill or can I have the bill? Can I have the bill or can you bring the bill? We can say that as well, okay, as an option, guys. Okay. In order for you to have more vocabulary and let's see. Oh, also there is another, another thing. We can say whenever we're talking about dessert, we can say a slice of a slice of cheesecake, like a slice of pizza, a slice of cheesecake. All right, we can say that. And okay. other than that, great job, guys! Great job. All okay, right, very good. Yeah, okay. Done. All right, guys. Choose another person. Okay, let's choose yeah, another uh, person. Applause, applause for for Serene and Stefania because. They work hard for this conversation. Oh, <laughs> yes, a round of applause for you guys. Very good, okay? <laughs> I know that you work hard, guys. I know everyone did it great, okay? What I really like is the, the way that you apply the, the SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> phrases, right? <laughs> and also the the boys, <laughs> the boys. <laughs> 10 minutes later, how how is it? YouTube, I play in YouTube. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> wow. Yes, he just used his imagination to use uh, this, this, this voice. I thought you did it. Let's play, let's play. I thought you did it. Do you have I thought you was imitating the voice. And I said, oh, wow, he can do it. <laughs> Very good, guys. Awesome. Thank you for your effort. Wow. I really like it, guys. Good job. Wonderful. Okay, so who's next? Rene, 
José René, choose the next person. One person. Estela Mabel Orellana. Okay, we will go with Mabel's group, okay? Okay, ahorita. Okay. Now. Now. Marielos, um, Mabel, um, and? Me. Vane. Okay, Marina, right? Yes. Perfect. Good afternoon. Okay. Welcome. Vanessa, ha <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I have Babel, Marielos, and Vanessa. Very good. Let's do it, girls. Ready? Yes. Good Perfect. afternoon. Really? Good afternoon. Welcome. How can I help you? Good afternoon. What can you recommend? Recommend. We have a star tortilla soap um nacho. Uh, what is the specialty of this of this afternoon? We have fish fillet white vegetables. With, with vegetables. 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 Vegetable, vegetable. We want two of that dish. I I have I have a soda. Yes, I have. Uh, could you bring could you bring a lemon, please? I will but will serve the in the moment in the food. Thank you. Could you make this count with uh, with paying? Sure. Thanks. Okay. Only teacher. Okay, teacher. We finished teacher. Thank you. Very good, guys. Uh, let me see. Creo que ya empe sí, ya it has start raining, pero todavía funciona my app. So, thank you very much. Sorry que no les no lo voy a escuchar tan tan bien. But um, van a haber algunas cositas que se me vayan, se me van a ir because it's raining hard. Like it is raining cats and dogs not right now. But thank you very much. Uh, guys, I just have some uh, phrases. Um, maybe the pronunciation of the phrase, how can I help you? Could you please repeat it after me? How can I help you? How can I help you? How, how can I help, help you? you? Very good. How can I help you? Very good. Um, and then I have, uh, I believe uh, one of you was uh, mentioning, uh, we have uh, as, 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 as a starter, como que tenemos como entrada y luego digo, dijo tortillas chip, algo así. I don't remember very good, but we can say we tortillas, have tortilla tor soup and nachos. Or tor tortilla soup. Okay, we can say we have tortilla soup as a starter. Ahorita se los mando en el chat. Thank you. Guys, ustedes me escuchan. Sí. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> es que it, it's working. My app is working now. So, si no se escuchara, oh my God, se escuchara como que anduviera en la playa. <laughs> so, I will send to you, we have tortilla soup as a, as a starter, okay? And the uh, vegetables, pronunciation of vegetables, could you please repeat after me? Vegetables. Be vegetables. 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 Baseball. Baseball. Very Baseball. good. Baseball. And um, there is another one that is, I would like to have a soda. 
I believe it. it someone says something about soda, uh, like you, you would like to get, right? So you can say, I would like to have a soda here. It's very important, guys, that we use polite English, let's say. Do you remember those structures in which you say, could I could I have a uh, could I have a glass of soda? I would like to have a, a glass of soda. Would you mind bringing me a glass of soda? All right. There are many structures that we can use whenever we are at the restaurant, right? Not only from the customer, but also from the waiter, let's say, or from the from the manager. We use a lot of polite English, all right? So we can use could, we can use would you like, we can use uh, would you mind too, okay? Um, we can use may I have, all right? Do you remember the the, the, the moral verse? So here is the, this is the time for you to apply the moral verse, okay? The, the, the one that are polite. Um, I believe that um, I heard from Marina that you use a lot that would lie too, right? So that's, we can, we can apply I would lie too, yes. And I couldn't hear, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear how did you ask for the payment method, guys? Did you say, can I have, uh, I, I don't remember to be honest with you. Could you make discount when paying cash? Oh, do you have discount when paying with cash? Uh -huh. Oh, okay, yes. okay, yes. You can say, do you have a discount when you pay with uh, by cash? Okay. Very good, thank you. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much. A round of applause for you again, okay? Very good. All right, so Mabel, who's next? Okay, uh, Christian? Christian, did, I believe he didn't continue with the role play. I don't know, maybe he has uh, he has problems right now because he was not uh, practicing. So could you mention another one, sorry? Uh, Luis? Luis, uh, Luis Alberto? Because Luis Gomez is a listener. Ah, okay. Yes, sorry. Eh, Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto. Sorry, Luis Alberto. <laughs> All right, Luis Alberto, Julio Cesar, Marcos Antonio, and... That's Only it, that. Right? All right, let's Stop do it, count. guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. let's do it. Ready? Great. I think that we are ready. Um, welcome to the restaurant. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, thank you. Um, I need a table for two, please. I have a reservation by Austin. Very good. Let me see. Okay, will you uh, follow me, please? Uh, wh what would you like to drink? For me, water, please. And for you? Um, I glass of water, please. Okay, and you, very Marcos. Good. And you, Marcos. Marcos. And to give me uh, one soda. One soda. Coca Cola yeah. is good for you. It's okay. Uh, uh, do you do you do you have a uh, Fanta? Yes, we have Fanta soda. Okay. No problem. Okay, give me Fanta. Okay, my pleasure. And um, are you ready to order? Uh, what do you recommend me? Um, I have a pizza and other uh, dishes. 
Okay, for me, pizza is okay. Pizza, okay. I, what about you? I, I, I like um, chicken uh, with onion. Chicken with onions, no problem. Yes. Okay. I take it. And Marcos? Sorry, uh, do you have a uh, meat with rice uh, salad? Yes, sure. I have that. No problem. Okay. Give me a dish with meat and salad with rice. Salad with rice and yeah. um, the steak. This. How do you cost the dish? Dish. Okay. Um, let me check. Would you like some pie? Or would you like a glass of wine? And can I get you anything else? Yes. Uh... Uh, I, I need a, a coffee cup too. No okay. A coffee. Uh, uh, I have the same. The same? Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, enjoy your meal. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Give me um, three milk. What? I'm sorry. Do you have a three milk? Yes. Okay, give me one. Give me, Very give good. me, give me, give me this. What? Um, I'm sorry. Could, could we have um um? Um, cheese for 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 pizza. Yes, they have a pizza? delicious cheese. Yes, yeah, yes, they have. Me. I will bring to you. No problem. That it will be twenty dollars and thirty five cents. Do you take credit card? Yes. Uh, yes, okay. uh, yes, charge. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Finish. You're welcome. We finish, thank teacher. You. Sorry, thank you very much, guys. I ran up last for you. I like it because it was it was very long. It was very long. You have the chance to uh, speak, and I believe. I believe I'm not sure that some of you improvise, right? Were you improvising? Yes, yeah. in a part. Yes, yeah. I really love that. Great job, okay? That's what I like, guys, that you improvise, okay? Very good, very good. Um, good job because, guys, at the end of the day, you will be able to improvise a lot, all right? So that's the way of doing it, okay? So. All right, guys, um, good job, all right? Uh, let's go ahead and just make sure, and this is gonna be for all, all of you guys. I know that we have practicing a lot the, the modal verse, right? But now it's the time for you to apply them, guys, all right? Now it's the time for you to use the, the modal verse. For example, instead of saying, uh, give me a cup of coffee, let's say. You can say, excuse me, can I have a cup of coffee? Or you can say, uh, could, I, could you bring me a cup of coffee? Or you, you can say, would you mind bringing me a cup of coffee? Or you can say, I would like to have a cup of coffee. All right, so there are a lot of ways of saying it, yes. You already know all the ways of saying it in a polite way, all right? We have a lot of uh, moreovers, but now it's the time to apply them, okay? Um, so 
you can use I would like to have, I would like to have a glass of water, please. All right. Let's try always to use the word please or excuse me. Could I or excuse me, can I? Can I is less polite. <clears throat> Sorry. But still you can use it, all right? Instead of instead of say give me or bring me, right? Because give me and bring me, uh, they are um that this is the less polite way of saying something, right? Like you like if you are ordering, okay, bring me. Como tráigame. Okay. In Spanish, maybe we can say it like that, but um in English it sounds a little bit rude, okay? Suena un poquito rudo. <laughs> so, uh, my recommendation <laughs> will be... Yo, my, no, 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 esto va para todos. Eh, sí, porque he escuchado bastante esto. My recommendation, guys, is to, to apply the moral verse, ¿ok? Apliquemos los moral verse. Acuérdense de I would like, would you mind, ¿ok? Uh, could you bring me, ¿ok? Can I have... Eh, May I have, okay. Re Sorry, Anthony. Marco. A mí se me olvidó en ese momento. Tiene mucha razón. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. No worries. If we don't have the chance to practice, we will never learn, guys. Okay. That's the importance of practicing what you have learned already. All right. Probablemente hemos tenido un poco de teoría. Okay. Y ustedes ya saben cómo utilizarlo. Pero ahora es el momento de practicarlo. Sí. Como que, ok, ahora se viene el momento de aplicar todo. Let's apply everything. And next time, you, won't, you, will, you will be able to apply it, Marcos, for sure. <laughs> I trust you. I trust you will apply it, ok? Confío en ustedes. All right. So, let's see. Um, let's see what else. Uh, you can say, you can say, do you accept... Uh, you can either ask what type of payment method do you have? What type of payment method? Okay. Or you can say, do you accept credit card or do you accept cash? Okay. Or you can say, can I pay? Sorry, can I pay with cash or can I pay with credit card? Yes. So there are a lot of ways of saying it, guys. A lot of ways. Okay. So, very good, guys. Very good. Good job. All right. Alberto, Luis Alberto, who's next? Who's the next uh, group? The next. Yes. Let me see. I believe there is missing one group, right? I didn't get the list. Sorry. Um, Jose Manuel. Oh, Maria Dinora, Janice. Um, Maria Dinora, did you practice? Because but Maria Dinora has problems, had problems with the internet. So I don't uh, know yeah. if she has the chance to practice, but let me review her group. Maria Dinora and Ezekiel, right? Ezekiel's I'm, group. Yes. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, great. So it's going to be Ezekiel. Oh, Jose Manuel, I don't know if here. Jose Manuel. Jose Manuel. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Yes, right. You're the last group, right? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> oh, you are just two, right? Yes, because yes. Uh, Maria Dinora, I don't know if is here. She has problems problem with her problem internet. internet. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I believe this is the last group, right? Yes. Okay, let's rock it, guys. Let's rock it. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm the waiter, and Josue Manuel is the customer. So oh, we are in a bar. We in a bar. Uh, can you hear me, Josue Manuel? Yes, yeah. Okay. Welcome to the Josue's bars. <laughs> uh, I'm I take you order in this bar. Uh, 
My name is Ezekiel. Okay, good night, Ezekiel. Uh, which uh, drink would you recommend me? Um, what kind of liquor do you like? You prefer vodka, rum, or tequila? Um, soft drink, well, I think rum, it would be nice. Excuse me, can you repeat? <laughs> yes, a, a rum, it would be nice. A rum? Okay, yeah. I I have one drink with rum, the Huracan. Uh, this drink have two class of rum, two kind of rum, uh, spicy rum, a white rum, and have uh, pineapple juice and orange juice, and sh let's shake it. <laughs> And oh, wow. when I serve in the glass, uh, have a cherry cherry in the top. Do you like this drink? Yes, it's um very nice. I would like to to order that drink. And do you have some a uh, potato chip? Ah, uh, for food, uh, I have yes. uh, French fries and I have boneless. To, to eat. Do you like okay, to order well, uh, French fries? Yes, uh, I want to order an uh, order of the potato chip and also the Huracan. That drink sounds very nice. I would like okay. to test it. Uh, I confirmed your order. Uh, drink a uh, Huracan drink and an um, order of French fries. It's yeah, correct. that. Yes, that's right. But how much is it? Okay, uh, let's see. It's five dollars for drink and two dollars with fifty cents for the French fries. Mm, it's okay. Celebrate ship. Yes. What kind of method do you like to pay? Oh, uh, well, do you ask a credit card? Yes, I have a post. Okay, let's see. Uh, I... Okay, I would like to make my payment with my credit card. Uh, I'll be back in 10 minutes. It's okay for you? Yes, it's okay. Don't worry, Ezekiel. Uh, would you bring me a napkin, please? Yes, I have not kit. Uh, a paper not kit. Uh, take it. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So here is um, your order. Here is your order. Uh, okay. Do you like um, a straw with your drink or not? Yes, it would be nice. Uh, put me one, please. Okay, let's see how strong. Uh, we have uh, a straw. Of, uh, I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> we have a um, um, it's fr friendly, it's friendly a straw with the the nature. It's this straw is made uh, by metal, a metal. Oh, it's okay. You bring me a very good service to see you. So thank you so much for, for you attending me. It's a pleasure. And okay. That's okay. <laughs> that is good. Sorry, what? Finish? Yeah, finish. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good, guys. A round of applause for you. Wow, what a customer service. Yeah. <laughs> I really like it. I want to go to that bar. <laughs> okay. Did you mention hurricane? Hurricane uh beverage? Hurricane. It was a it was a drink, right? A yes. cold drink. Hurricane. Wow. <laughs> it calls my attention whenever you describe it. That's customer service. Very good. <laughs> yes.
Guys, congratulations. I really like uh, the, the way you. that you go. Okay, with the order, confirming the order. Let me confirm the order. Let me have the payment method. Would you like uh, uh, this and that? Wow, okay. It was like a, like the video, right? Very good. So let me let me just go ahead and, uh, sorry, uh, let's go ahead and uh, repeat after me this word, which is a little bit difficult. Is let me see one second. What is it? Oh, I got it. Liquor. Could you please repeat after me? Liquor. 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 Guys, everyone. Liquor. 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 Okay. Liquor. 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 And and then I didn't get this word. Did you say boneless? And then and then boneless. What? I'm sorry. I didn't get it. Sorry. Boneless. Yes. Boneless. About food. Chicken boneless. Look. Oh. Boneless chicken. Was it? Was it like that? No. Yes. Oh. Yes. Sí. Okay. 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 Sorry. Uh, and um, you can say. Uh, let me confirm your order. Okay, sir, let me confirm your order. All right. Or you can say, uh, that's, that's for everyone, guys, not only for them. Uh, for example, you can say, hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Mr. Lopez, Mr. Lopez, let me confirm your order, okay? Mr. Lopez, let me confirm your order, okay? It is more polite, okay? It's not, I mean, I'm not saying you're not doing good. No, I'm not saying this. I'm just giving you more options, guys, okay? More options. More options for you to sound more polite, okay? And you can say, um, what kind of method, what kind of payment method would you like to pay with? Yes? What kind of payment method would you like to pay with? Or what kind of payment method would you prefer? All right? What kind of me payment method would you prefer? This is in case you have a bunch of payment method, guys. But if you have just one payment method, you Except better Bitcoin. not to uh -huh, you better not to offer, okay? A lot of payment methods. You just say, okay, uh here you have your bill, all right, and then you wait until the customer asks the payment method and then you say ah we just accept cash oh we are sorry but for for the moment uh we just accept cash okay we're working on uh, accepting credit debit cards bitcoins etc right we're working on that sir and i hope that we will get it soon okay but you can do it like that Let's repeat after me, everyone, guys. Everyone, what kind of payment method do you prefer? What kind of payment method do you prefer? Do you prefer, guys? Could you please repeat after me, everyone? What kind of payment method do you prefer? What kind do you? What kind of you, payment method do you prefer? Kind of payment method. Do you, prefer? Do, you prefer? do you prefer? Or you can say, what kind of payment method would you like to pay with? What, what kind of payment method would you like to pay with? Okay. So, uh, well, I want to say congratulations, everyone, guys. You did an amazing job, okay? So do not forget about applying modal verse in, the, in this kind of uh let's say uh in this case uh of conversations okay because you are at the restaurant so let's just try to do so uh and other than that you're doing awesome okay questions about this exercise guys questions about this activity no no questions are you good Guys? Everything is good. 
Sorry, your voice is breaking up, guys. Los escucho un poco cortados y no les escucho mucho. ¿Estamos bien? ¿Tienen preguntas? That's okay, I think. Fine. I was looking for... Let me see. One second. Okay, guys, uh, let me go ahead and place really quick a video, okay? A, a video about how to use modal verbs in a restaurant, okay? Uh, these modal verbs are not all, all the modal verbs, but at least you have an idea how to use the modal verbs. Do me a favor, because I will play just once, guys. Uh, try to go ahead and write down or try to catch all the modal verbs that you can, okay? Try to catch, try to get the modal verbs that you that you hear or you could could identify in the video, okay? Ready? Ready. Right. Okay. Um, that will be really quick, okay? Let me show you. Do you listen? Yes? Is everything okay here? Yes, yes. The wine and the appetizers are fantastic. I'm very happy to hear that. Are you ready to order your main entrees? Yes, I'm going to have the sirloin steak. Okay. okay. And how would you like it cooked? Uh, medium rare, please. And would you like soup or salad with that? Uh, I'll take a salad. What kind of dressing would you like? We have Italian, blue cheese, and ranch. I'll have Italian. And you have your choice of potatoes or vegetables. I'll take a baked potato with sour cream. And for you, sir? I'll have the fish of the day. Okay, would you like it baked or fried? What do you recommend? I recommend the baked fish with the lemon sauce. Okay, I'll take that. And would you like soup or salad? What kind of soup do you have? We have cream of broccoli or onion soup. I'll have the cream of broccoli, please. Okay, coming right up. Okay, guys, so I would like to ask you, uh, besides the modal verse, do you notice how how did they order what is the structure that they use for they ordering something for them ordering something what about whenever the waiter finished uh, explaining the menu and it w then it was time for the customers to order how did they say they wanted to ask i mean they wanted to order for something how did they say that Oh, very good. Good, good, Osby. Or, okay. Or I think, I think everything. Let me share the whiteboard. Okay. Do you see the whiteboard? Guys? Yes, no, maybe. Would you like? Yes, teacher, too. This, okay, perfect. So, guys, there is a way as well of ordering something whenever you're at the, at the restaurant. You can say, "I'll." Sorry, let me let me go ahead and um change I my. I prefer. I'll have. Okay, mm -hmm. that is the phrase. That is the phrase that they use. I'll have. Okay, I'll have a slide of pizza, please. Okay. They always use please at the end, all right? Sometimes, sometimes. So I have a slide of pizza, I have please, all right? Sorry? Why is I have the tener? No. I, I have, I don't. Oh. I'll have a slide of pizza. Okay, it is like, can I have? Can I have a... Um, a bottle of water. 
es como que puedo, puedo, puedo tener una, una, una bottle of water, ok? Eh, this is a phrase that we normally use, ok? It's, it's a phrase. Ah, okay. So we normally use the reason. I'll have. I have a slide of pizza. Eh, realmente es la frase que más se ocupa y no es tan. Eh, si ustedes no quieren sonar muy, muy polite, ok, muy formal, entonces pueden ocupar esta frase. I'll have. This is contracted. This is basically I will have, ok. So se dicen, I'll have a, a slide of pizza. I'll have. Si ustedes se fijaron en el video, esa es la frase que se está utilizando. I'll have. Ok. Sorry. I'll have a slide of pizza. Please, can I have a bottle of water? So, también pueden utilizar esta palabra como un poco menos polite. Ok. And it's acceptable. Very acceptable. Ok. Um, so, basically, you just have the contractive form of I will and I have. Ok. You use I, then you I'll. use I'll. Uh -huh. Let's repeat I'll. after me. I'll have. Repeat I'll after I'll me. I'll, I'll, have. I'll, I'll have. have. I'll 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 have. Why I'll am have. I? Why am I showing to you this way of ordering, guys? Because it is the one that we normally use. Okay. Mm, it is the most the, the the most popular way of ordering something whenever you are you don't want to sound formal okay whenever you don't want to sound formal you can do it like that and it is acceptable okay because sometimes you don't go to um like uh uh you don't go to a restaurant right like and like a um luxurious restaurant you just go to, to metro center you just go to la gran via i don't know okay and you go to the food court or something like that or you just go to to one of the places where you can eat okay and if you don't want to sample light you can say i'll have okay i'll have okay yo quiero realmente es como que dice yo quiero yo Voy a pedir, etcétera. Eso es lo que lo que usted quiere decir. Pero la frase es I'll have. I'll have a slide of pizza, please. Okay. Questions about these guys? No questions. I'm just lost right now because okay, here I have a stop sharing. Sorry. Okay, let me share the screen, guys. And um, we will continue, all right, with the manual. We will continue with the manual. We were working on the role plays, okay? We were practicing more. We were getting more vocabulary. But today, we will continue talking about procedures, okay? Let's talk, let's continue talking about procedures. Um, and uh, first, I want to tell you guys what are what are policies and procedures. For you to be able to understand what a procedure, I mean, what is a procedure, you need to understand what is a policy, okay? So, a policy, guys, is a set of general guidelines that outline the organization plan for tackling an issue, tackling. Do you know the meaning of tackling, guys? Any idea about this word, tackling? No? Abordar. No. <laughs> Abordar un problema, okay? A policy okay. is a set of general guidelines that outline the organization plan for tackling an issue. Do you remember yesterday we were talking about the common issues in a restaurant? Then you had a procedure to follow to improve this. Do you remember whenever the customer, sorry, whenever they had a, a night end or they had a dish on the menu and then it was not available? That was a problem, okay? So you need to have a policy and you need to have a procedure, all right? So, Policies communicate the connection between the organization vision and values and its day-to-day -day operation, okay? Guys, you are working in a company, right? You have a lot of policies. 
tiene muchas políticas en su compañía, right? A lot of policies, right? So, estas políticas ustedes las tienen que seguir day by day. Day, sorry, day to day. ¿Ok? Para poder cumplir con la visión, con la misión o el objetivo que tiene su compañía. So, this is a policy. But what is a procedure? ¿Ok? A procedure explains a specific action plan for carrying out the policy. ¿Sí? So, el procedure explain the specific action plan. What is, ¿Cuál es su action plan para evitar que el cliente se vaya enojado? Porque mucho espera en el restaurant. ¿Ok? Su política es que no vamos a hacer esperar a los clientes. Ok, pero no me está cumpliendo su política porque los clientes se van enojados. Yes? They got angry. So, procedures tells employees how to deal with the situation and when. Ok, so ese es el procedure. ¿Cómo ustedes van a lidiar con la situación y cuándo? ¿Cuándo y dónde y cómo? All right, so that is the procedure. Is that understandable, guys? We need, I need you to understand this because we will have an activity right now in which you will apply it. Is that understandable? What is policy? What is procedure, guys? Yes, no, maybe, yes. Yes, teacher. Julio Cesar, uh, Marielos, Vanessa, Luis yes, Alberto, teacher. yes, Kenny, Mabel, present. All good. All right. So, one moment. All right. So, guys, now that we already know about policies and procedures, okay. We have a speaking practice, and this speaking practice is the following. We will create a, a procedure. Sorry, it's my spelling. Uh, we will create the procedure that you follow at your workplace. Guys, acá todos trabajan en una compañía super diferente a, a, la del, a la del compañero, okay? But you have policies, and you have a procedure. Tienen políticas y tienen un proceso a seguir para cumplir sus políticas. So, what is the procedure that you follow at your workplace? Okay, let's try to make a presentation about your procedure. Explain to us what is the procedure that you normally follow every single day. ¿Cuál es el proceso que usted eh, usa todos los días? Example, ejemplo. Me voy a ir al manual y les voy a enseñar el procedure que teníamos el día de ayer. Miren, este es el procedure que normalmente se hace en esta compañía. ¿Se acuerdan que primero era lo de hand washing, sanitizing, purchasing, tasting method, food storage, towing food? So, ese es el proceso que ellos siguen para deber de brindar un producto, ¿verdad? Quizás usted trabaje en una escuela, quizás usted trabaje eh, en una librería, en un hospital, etc. Pero, ok, you follow a procedure every day. ¿Cuál es el proceso que usted sigue? What is the procedure that you follow? Yes? Eso es lo que usted va a hacer. Short, very short. Lo vamos a hacer very short, ok? Not too long. Solamente step by step what you do. Los, eh, los um, pasos de lo, del procedure que usted follow. Ok. Teacher, I, uh, I got, I got to, I mean, I, I, I arrived my job and then, oh my God. Um, I wash my hands. All right. I wash my hands. I, I, I go to the kitchen and I start prefer, preparing food. All right, but before preparing food, I wash the vegetables, I, 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 I sanitize all the, the ingredients, so all my materials, all the, uh, let's say, yes, all the materials that I will, I will use for making the food, all right, because I'm the cooker. So I start cooking it, and then, and so on, and so on, okay? Entonces, usted me está explicando cuál es el proceso que usted sigue cada día, dependiendo de su profesión, dependiendo en el área que usted trabaje, hay un procedure. Si usted está respondiendo emails, how do you start? 
answering emails. Oh, I turn on the computer, then I check my inbox to see if I have new emails. Then I have to um I have to get a I have to get a, a quote, which is I, I need to do five emails per hour. All right. And then I need I have a meeting and so on. Okay. It depends on the position where you are, but what is the procedure? Okay. You will explain to us what is the procedure and this will be individual. Okay. So we have time right now to go ahead and create your procedure. We will have 50, uh, 10 minutes, sorry, 50 minutes, no, 10 minutes to create your procedure. Okay. Let me share the screen really quick and I will show it to you how we can. Okay, do you see the screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, you can say step number one. I turn on the computer, okay? Uh, let's see, what did you do later on? I check my, sorry, I check my uh, inbox, okay? Number three, I... Uh, let's see, I start answering. The latest, uh, I mean the all emails. And report. Any possible issue, any possible issue. Number four, let's say um, I follow, I follow up every a case, um, every situation, every escalated situation, let's say. Okay. Etc. Okay, etc. Right. So, guys, this is my procedure. Okay. This is an example. This is my example. Let's say that I am working. Um, I am working like answering emails. Okay. So this is my procedure. I need to turn on the computer and the computer check my let's see my tools or check that the tools are working fine. I check my inbox. I start answering from the old emails to the newest email and report possible problems. I, re I follow up every escalated situation. So ese es el proceso que yo sigo todos los días. Okay? Y yo no lo cambio porque si yo lo cambio, estoy cambiando la política que a mí me han dicho que tengo que cumplir. Ok, y una de esas políticas es de que yo no puedo responder los emails más nuevos que tengo y dejar a los viejitos ahí, ¿verdad? Los all emails. Tengo que ir eh, de, de, los, uh, de los all emails hasta los new emails, newest emails, ¿ok? So, esa es una política. Si yo no sigo eso, no estoy cumpliendo la política. No estoy siguiendo el proceso que se me explicó en training. ¿Does it make sense? Guys. Yes, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So, guys, um, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to create your procedure in your workplace. Okay? 10 minutes to, to create your procedure. Okay, teacher, but you know what? I, I'm not clear about my procedure. <laughs> I, I'm working as a... Um, uh, let's say, usted me puede decir, teacher, mire, pero no estoy segura de mi proceso. Yo trabajo... Eh, Let's say, haciendo pupusas, qué sé yo, ¿ok? No importa, usted está haciendo un proceso y cuál es el proceso que usted sigue para crear esas pupusas, ¿ok? Su jefa le ha dicho, mire, quiero que me haga pupusas eh, de arroz, solo de arroz, ¿ok? Usted, la otra persona se va a encargar de pupusas de, de maíz, etc. Entonces, esa es la política. La política es crear pupusas de arroz. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que usted hace para crear esas pupusas? Ese es un proceso, right? Do you have any questions, guys? 
No question. Uh, teacher, my, my question is different. Uh, tell me, tell me. Can you explain the conversation on, on page 19? Conversation uh, on page 19. Yes, the... the Page 19? Yes, page 19, the de la guía. Del manual. Oh. The manual. Yes, you, you, you explained in yesterday um, page number 18. Don't, don't, um, you can explain the conversation on, on page 19. Uh, I don't know, teacher. Uh, um. Yes, but we haven't uh, we haven't uh, studied that that page yet. Tomorrow, tomorrow is it's is the time for us to study that page, uh, page nineteen. Because tomorrow we will talk about another topic. And in there uh -huh. will be the time for us to explain that. I mean, we haven't we haven't studied it. Okay. Don't worry, we haven't studied it. We haven't gone there. All right. We, Tomorrow we you ex you explain. I hope so. Let me review. Let me review the lesson plan for tomorrow. I believe that tomorrow uh -huh. is the time. Why, Marcos? Porque me dice que la explique. Todo bien. Porque la puedo explicar, pero. No hemos llegado hasta ahí todavía. Eh, eh, I, I, I do the exercise 2.2 uh, mm -hmm. eh, y, y me pide, este, por ejemplo, esos model, aplicar esos model, por ejemplo, quick. Los model. Eh, agree. L y. Uh, quickly, um, uh, o, sea, me, o sea, en el ejercicio ya llegué a una parte, pero en la otra parte hay este, unas casillas donde dice que hay que a, a agregar este, los moda, los moda, algo así, pero de forma, no me acuerdo, <risa> pero, o sea, Porque, eh, eh, Creo esa... que son los adverbs, uh, transition ah, yeah. expressions. Adverbs, yeah, adverbs. Adverbs, okay. Oh, don't Entonces, worry, tomorrow is the class number nine, and tomorrow we have that class, how to use verb adverbs and transitions uh -huh. expressions. Ah, okay. So don't Eso. worry, Mark. Tomorrow it's going to be the time for me to explain that, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. I promise to you that tomorrow is going to be the day. But thank you very much, okay? Thank you for for doing your, your exercises, your homework assignments. I really appreciate it, Marcos. Okay. okay? Thank you. You're welcome. So let's go ahead and continue working on, on, the, on the procedure, guys. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Todo good? Ya se me fueron todos, se me durmieron. Solo veo a Daniel... Uh, Marcos, Jose. Oh, and Marcos se fue. No, I am, I am, I am. Here, yes, okay. Ya me, ya me asustaron, chicas. <laughs> ya, 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 ya está, um, este día miércoles ya uno empieza a sentirse cansadito, ¿verdad? ¿No les pasa? Yes, teacher. Tired. For me, uh, the most difficult days uh, during the week are Monday, <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, <laughs> all, all, all the days. No, Monday because it's the first day, so it's very difficult coming from a weekend, right? And then Wednesday, it is because it is the middle of the week, and I don't know, but you feel tired. I feel tired on Wednesday. I don't know why. <laughs> and then Friday. Friday, oh, my God, you're like, oh, I need to rest. <laughs> Those are my most uh, my, my most difficult days. <laughs> Almost all the week, right? <laughs> Casi que toda la semana, guys. No, pero Wednesday, for real. Sometimes I believe that is hard, hard. 
by the way, Jessica, is Jessica here with us? No? Okay, Julio Cesar, Marino, so you will stay with me, okay, Julio Cesar? Would you like? Yes, no, maybe? Yes, teacher. Yes, great, yes. great, great. That's the attitude, okay? This is the attitude, that's the attitude. <laughs> <laughs> great. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for that. Guys, let me go through the attendance list. Sorry that I am interrupting you, but uh, let me go through the attendance list, the last attendance list uh, from today. Angel Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Gracias, teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, teacher. Present. Daniel, thank you. Daniel Ezequiel Present. Álvarez Mejía. Present, teacher. Hello. Estela Mabel. Yes, thank you, Daniel. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Josué Manuel, are you here? Uy, no veo Josué, Josué Manuel, al principio estaba y no, 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 no me pude, no pude, pudo pasar lista y ahora tampoco. Julio César Marino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Julio, perdóneme la vida que no le contestaba el mensaje. Lo leí, pero no le pude contestar por lo mismo, porque como he estado en clase, a veces me, me, me extrae mucho estar viendo el teléfono y así, pero, pero thank you, ¿ok? Thank you, ya lo leí. Thank you, Julio César. Ya vamos a ver. Good morning. Thank you. Gracias. Present okay. teacher. Ok, thank you. Let me see. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amir Carmancía Gutiérrez. María Dinora Llanes de Hernández. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Thank you. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. José Present René. Present teacher. Thank you. José René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Nelson Vladimir Flores Martín. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. Okay, we will have three more minutes, okay? Three more minutes, guys, to finish.
I can listen, teacher. I can listen. Sorry, guys, did you finish? No? Finish. Finish? All right, Daniel? Yeah. Ma Vanessa? Austin? Yes, finish. Great. Julio Cesar? Finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right. So let's start with Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto, could you please read your procedure at your word, please? Okay. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Ah, yes. Very good. Um, at the beginning uh, of my day, I have to turn on my computer when I get in the, in the, in the company. Then I check my email inbox. I uh, check if I have new issues to resolve and notice to my boss. Um, and then uh, design a plan for the day and make decision about what area I can to visit to check. And uh, on the other hand, I have to decide if you can worry and report that is missing. Um, and uh, at the final, discuss, uh, discuss results uh, from um, my information with my boss uh, and what is the best way to deal in different situations on the place. Wow, very good. Thank you very much for sharing your process. So just to make sure, uh, Luis Alberto, you notify it to the boss, right? You notify it to my boss. And you can say, finally, I discuss results. Okay. Very good, uh, Luis Alberto. Choose another person, please. And thank you very much. Good job. Uh, sorry, Luis Alberto, could you please choose another person to go? Marcos. Go ahead, Marcos. Marcos Antonio. Okay. Thank you. Let's do it, Marcos Antonio. Ready? Eh, no, teacher, pero lo voy a intentar. Great. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> you tried. All right. Let's do it. Oh, okay, teacher. Eh, in my... In my the process in my work is uh, first. Uh, sorry, I I drink. <laughs> I <laughs> sorry, teacher. I get some attack at the risa. Uh, I I drink a cup. <laughs> Pero es parte del proceso, teacher, de lo que yo hago. Bueno, I, I drink a cup of hot milk. <laughs> and after that, uh, I start my computer. <laughs> also, I, I clean my desk. And exactly, I make, I do invoices for customer. The, pro, the, pro, the process, the process is um, I into the 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 number and also I I I into I into the the description of ma material or material and finally um, no sé cómo se dice sacar el total de, de del producto. No. 
You can say that I got the total. You can say? No, no, sorry. I got the total. Total is the total. Uh huh. The, the total of the product. Eh, quisiera explicar bien cómo sería todo el proceso, teacher, pero, pero se me nubla no, el cerebro. You're fine. No, you're fine. Mm -hmm. So I get the total of the product. I get the total of the product. I get the total of the product. Of the product. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do. Finish? Okay, so Marcos, uh, sorry, I just want to make sure. What do you mean whenever you say, I'm into the number and into the description of the material? Este, sí, yo, yo introduzco este, eh, el código del material, la cantidad. Y, ¿Y, y dónde lo introduce? Sorry, I just want eh, to, just in order to help you. En invoices. En las facturas. Ok. I am a cashier. <laughs> ok. Uh, so you introduce the codes you sell of the yeah. product. Yes, teacher. Ok. Mm -hmm. Great. So in that case, we can say uh, I introduce the codes of the product in the invoices. I introduce the codes of the products and the invoices. I introduce, um, no, but, but in that case, I believe it's gonna be entered. I enter the product of the product codes in the invoices. I enter the product codes in the invoices. And you can say, I enter the description of the material in the invoices, okay? Yeah. Very good, thank you. Marcos, could you please choose another person? Eh, Osmin. Osmin, oh. let's do it, Osmin. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay. A, a, a Marcos, a Milcar, se me olvidó. Me las a Marcos, a Milcar, he's not here. <laughs> Sorry. Bueno, okay. First, uh, I turn on the computer. Mm -hmm. Second, I check the mail. Third, I assign the work to my collaborator. And fourth, I supervise her to the activities of my, of my collaborator. And five, I report the activity to my superior. Very good, very good, all right. Good job, good job, Osmin. Just two words okay. about pronunciation. Uh, superior, sorry, superior, uh, superior, okay, superior and collaborator. Okay, thank you. Very good, collaborator. All right, very good. So, good job, Osvin. I like it the way that you go with the sequence first, second, finally. Good job. We haven't seen that, we haven't studied it, but you did it. Very good. So, Osvin, could you please choose another person, the last person? Uh, Daniel Archimedes. Let's do it, Daniel. Very good. Daniel. <laughs> oh, let me see. My internet is unstable. Oh, for it's okay. very difficult. No I disconnect my 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 thing. My okay. Your earphone, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> the, the, politics, the politics of the factory make the garment with excellent quality on in beyond time. <laughs> okay. Uh, the procedure, procedure is uh, get a specification develop the garment, select fabrics, select the trim for makes the garment. After that, sewing the garment, after that, pass the quality control, 
and the finish sent to the buyer. Only that. Very good, Daniel. Good job. Very good. Okay. Um, okay. just the pronunciation of the of the word procedure. Procedure. Uh huh. There you go. Procedure. Okay. Procedure. Very good. Okay, thank you. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. So very good. You did it awesome, guys. Thank you for joining today's class. We see you tomorrow, and you did an amazing job again regarding your speaking practice. Um, I'm so proud of you. Let's continue practicing, okay? I know you will continue improving. I know you will do it awesome next time. And you're doing awesome right now. Uh, and I will go ahead and try to give you as much as feedback as you can, as I can, sorry, and try to make sure that you you actually continue improving, okay? That's my my purpose. So guys, I hope you have an amazing night. And I will stay with Julio Cesar, okay? See you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye teacher. Have a good rest, okay? Descanse mucho. Sweet dream. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. Have a good night. See Have you a good tomorrow. night, Kenny. See you. Bye bye. Hello, hello, Julio. Julio Cesar, how hello, are you teacher. today? Um, very tired. Very tired. I'm tired as well. Uh, yes. But nice to know that. Uh, Julio Cesar, quisiera hablar con usted lo que me estaba, me estaba diciendo en el chat. Cuénteme. <laughs> se, me estaba diciendo que se siente un poquito... Eh, oh, sorry, give me just one moment. Deme un segundito, please. Ok. Me estaba comentando que se siente un poco frustrado, que no, no, no entiende mucho y es normal, es normal. ¿Sí? Lo que tiene que hacer Julio César ahorita es no frustrarse, ¿sí? Sino que al contrario. ¿Cómo, cómo se dice? I, I don't want to sound like that, pero como tome el, el, tome el toro por los cuernos, como se dice vulgarmente. <risa> Sí, Julio César, y continuemos, ¿ok? No, sí, no sí. se, no, no, créame que hemos tenido, bueno, he tenido bastantes casos similares, yo fui una, <ríe> aunque no lo crea, yo fui una, sí, y eso a mí me pasó cuando estaba en la universidad, fue bien difícil, fue bien difícil, yo lo entiendo, bien difícil, y imagínense que en mi caso, se lo cuento, yo me recuerdo que estaba en primer año apenas y como realmente yo entré para ser maestra, ¿verdad? Y en mi profesión, en la carrera donde yo estaba, desde un inicio nos empezaron hablando inglés y realmente pues yo había ido a cursos, esto y lo otro, pero es bien diferente aprender inglés solamente para comunicarse y aprender inglés para enseñar. Yo tenía que ir a mil por hora porque iba a enseñar. Entonces, para mí fue bien difícil y realmente, ¿qué? Le digo que fue tanto el, el, uh, lo que pasó, tanto que yo me frustré, ¿verdad? Que eso, mi frustración misma, Julio César hacía que yo me pusiera una venda, que yo me volviera sorda, que yo no entendiera. La frustración es bien delicada y la verdad es que a mí me pasó mucho. Yo realmente me acuerdo que eh, es como que usted se pone un límite, usted solo y usted dice, no, yo no puedo esto. Y yo me puse el límite, a mí me costaba mucho entenderle. El listening practice a mí me costaba demasiado. Yo me sacaba notas terribles que no quiero mencionar en el listening. <risa> Y eh, eso, a consecuencia de eso, Julio César, yo dejé una materia y, y, y me dolió tanto porque usted sabe que en la universidad, más que todo en la universidad donde yo estaba, que es la, la nacional, dejar un, una materia era, de, era dejar un año. Yo dejé un año por eso. El me tiempo. dolió, me dolió muchísimo. Pero ¿sabe qué pasó al final? Yo dije, bueno, tengo dos opciones seguir 
o realmente salirme de la carrera, yo no, no quiero salirme de la carrera porque para ese momento yo amaba mi carrera, pero estaba frustrada por eso. Entonces pedí ayuda, pedí ayuda, me acuerdo que hubo un maestro que, que fue el mismo que, que me dejó la materia, súper bueno, casi que el mejor de todo, de todo el, el departamento, por eso es de que realmente yo no pasé, pues porque realmente pues él era demasiado estricto. Entonces eh, le pedí ayuda a él mismo y le dije, mire, yo necesito que me ayude. Y pues gracias a Dios. Y, y, y se volvió a repetir la materia y volví a elegirlo a él sabiendo que podía dejarme otra vez porque era demasiado estricto y porque a mí me faltaba. Entonces lo volví a elegir a él y lo tomé como un apoyo para mí. Entonces desde ese momento yo aprendí un montón, Julio César, y créame que yo eh, mi... La, la, el, el, um, el aprendizaje mío cambió, pero bien, bien, eh, de una manera tan trascendental porque ese maestro a mí me enseñó lo que me hubiera podido enseñar quizás tres, maest tres maestros juntos. O sea, quiere decir que al final, pues yo aprendí a la mala, <ríe> aprendí sí. a la mala, pero me forcé el quíntuple casi, porque fue bien difícil. Yo me acuerdo que me quedaba después de cada clase con él y él me explicaba que topic por topic. Él quizás me daba 10 minutos y me decía, va, eso y eso y eso, ahora practique usted. Entonces eso es lo que hacía Dif de diferentes maneras. De diferentes maneras estuve practicando, casi que igual que usted, ¿verdad? Eh, y lo pude hacer gracias a Dios. Fue difícil, pero yo, yo todavía me acuerdo de ese maestro que verdad cambió mucho mi aprendizaje. Y por eso estoy donde estoy gracias a él y gracias a lo que okay. me pasó. Si no, yo creo que hubiera siempre ap aprendido un poco más despacio y tal vez no, no tan rígido y de la manera como él me enseñó. Entonces ya después en las otras materias yo buscaba al... al al maestro más rudo, al, al que más era, como decían, ¿verdad? Vulgarmente, el más yuca, porque sabía que me iba a enseñar y no me arrepiento de eso, ¿sabe? Porque sí eh, pude obtener lo mejor y por eso es que, que soy donde soy gracias a esos maestros. Entonces, al final, eh, yo, yo la verdad lo invito a eso. Porque a mí me pasó, yo me sentía frustrada, yo no quería llegar. Oh my God, yo sentía que no, no, no entiendo, no entiendo, decía yo. Pero es un momento que se llama Intermediate Plateau, así se llama, donde usted experimenta un momento donde usted no entiende, donde usted dice que no, no avanza, es normal, es un proceso de aprendizaje, es normal, todos lo pasamos. Entonces, media vez usted cruce esa curva de aprendizaje o ese Intermediate Plateau, como se le llama, luego de eso usted va a aprender. Va a, empezar a, va a empezar a aprender, va a, empe va a empezar a entender más. Pero que necesitamos un poco más, Julio. O sea, yo sé que es muy difícil pedirle eso, pues porque trabajamos y todo. Tal vez practicar más, Julio César. Es lo que no, no, no falta acá. No le okay. estoy diciendo usted no practique, no le estoy diciendo usted no hace esto y el otro. No, no estoy diciendo eso. Entonces quiere decir que el esfuerzo que usted hace ahorita, si ya es doble, lo va a duplicar más. Okay? Okay, okay. Porque eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. Y de mi parte, Julio César, moléstame. Nos quedan que tres semanas. Y esas tres semanas, yo necesito que usted me moleste, que me mande mensajes. Mire, si le respondo ya tarde, perdóneme, porque es porque yo trabajo <risa> sí, desde claro, las claro. cinco y media. No, no se preocupe. Pero yo le voy a responder, ¿ok? <risa> okay. Y este, ese es mi consejo. ¿Qué es lo que le está costando ahorita? Es el listening, ¿verdad? El Bastante. listening. Mucho. Mucho. Y lo escucho, lo escucho en la mañana, del todo, o sea, porque mi trabajo, mi tiempo que tengo por eso es cuando voy en el bus, de ahí ya no puedo, porque bus, tras bus, y cliente, tras cliente, y no, de falta, sí. falta de respeto para los clientes andar yo con mi audífono. Sí. Entonces, no puedo. De ahí hasta en la tarde que vengo ya de mi trabajo, lo vuelvo a hacer. Vengo escuchando 
y escucho, escucho, escucho. Los domingos aquí me quedo cuando vengo donde mi nieto, vengo de jugar en las tardes, me pongo. Pero, o sea, es que lo que pasa es que como yo, eh, yo estuve en mi primer trabajo, que trabajé 11 años, sin ser bachiller. Eh, ahí hubo un caso y me ayudaron, y yo estuve ahí 11 años, era una empresa de, de investigación y análisis de mercado. Eh, yo aprendí tan rápido que me llevaba siempre el primer lugar y me daba un premio más porque sobrepasaba mis metas. Uh -huh. Entonces, lo que yo le quiero decir es que yo lo aprendí rápido. Igual en, mi, en, mi, eh, en ese trabajo que tengo hay dos grupos y yo me llevo el primer lugar. O sea, Qué porque bueno. lo aprendo. O sea, es que lo que pasa es que a mí me gusta aprender rápido. O sea, yo, yo quiero aprenderlo quizá muy rápido, no sé, o sea, ese es mi mm. problema, porque yo Quizás soy... por eso se siente también así. Me exijo mucho también a mí mismo, o sea, porque yo siempre he sido bueno en lo que hago. Y eso Entonces, hace que se, se, siente, se sienta frustrado, ¿verdad? Yo pienso que sí, teacher, porque como le comento, en la mayoría de mis trabajos siempre he sobresalido, más que yo me esté jactando, pero es una verdad que yo siempre lo he hecho. Ajá, entonces bueno. aquí es, eh, bueno, si es fija, por lo menos mis trabajos van bien, pero eh, mis, eh, mis tareas y todo, pero es, es el listening. Y hay veces yo me siento, a mí no me importa, ¿eh? o sea, si, si se ríen o no se ríen, pero, o sea, yo quiero hacerlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero hay veces yo siento que tal vez este incomodo, ¿me entiendes? O sea, no, no me entienden no, y yo no entiendo, entonces no, pero o sea, eso es como persona adulta, yo lo entiendo perfecto, pero por ratos Mire Julio, pero si usted no participara créame que esto lo llevaría, esto fuera tan un difícil, desastre esto fuera tan difícil así que yo le pido que no se me frustre y que no, que, que así como está pensando que eso piense porque yo no pensaba así. A mí me daba pena y yo por pena yo no participaba y yo me quedaba callada, por eso no aprendía. Entonces, siga así, porque esa es la manera. Todos hemos pasado por eso mismo. Los que están ahí, los que estamos ahí, hemos pasado por lo mismo y ellos ya han aprendido. No me gusta comparar a las personas, no me gusta decirlos, pero, pero sí me gusta eh, reconocerlos. Así que pues... Eh, reconozco a una persona que está en nuestro grupo, que usted ya lo conoce, se llama Marcos Antonio Malgar, uh -huh, uh -huh. él es una persona que ha sobresalido que usted lo puede ver que ah, que es el otro, que, que, que sí, ¿verdad? Pero no, uh -huh. a él le costó muchísimo para llegar ahí y este usted puede decir, le cuesta pero le costaba bastante, mucho más antes, entonces él ha él ha logrado llegar hasta ahí y a puro esfuerzo, a puro esfuerzo, a, a puro, eh, a puro este, actitud, actitud, porque él ha tenido actitud. Yo me recuerdo que él tiene más amigos y todos los amigos que tenía donde él trabaja no están ya en el, en el curso. Y él me decía, teacher, mire, pero es que ya me desanimé, ya no quiero seguir, mire, no entiendo. Y a veces él participa, se fija que participa, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Entonces él me decía, teacher, me da pena, mire, yo siento que a veces no entiendo, mire esto que lo otro. Entonces ya se le quitó la pena y aunque diga algo mal, al final se corrige y al final se aprende. Entonces él es un muy buen ejemplo con respecto a eso porque si usted fija no es perfecto, no lo hace el 100% bien, pero esa es la manera como él ha aprendido. Y ha mejorado significativamente. Entonces yo por eso a veces estoy bien pendiente de Marcos, 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 Marcos. Por lo mismo, porque yo sé que si él deja de practicar, si yo dejo, si yo lo descuido un poco, se me pierde. Porque mire, <risa> los demás compañeros se, me, se fueron y él me dice, Ticha, mire, yo veo que todos se van. No, pero es que yo no me quiero quedar solo yo. Mire, Marcos, usted tiene que, que usted tiene que ver su aprendizaje, no el de los demás. Demuestra a los demás que usted puede, le dice eso. Y así, mire, así me lo he traído hasta que ahorita yo veo que ya de aquí quizás ya, ya no se me va. 
pero uh -huh. este, le ha costado muchísimo porque también por eso mismo la frustración es todo. Entonces, y muchos más casos, muchos más casos, como le digo, no es el primero ni el único, todos hemos pasado por eso, lo que usted tiene que seguir es seguir luchando, lo que pueda yo hacer con gusto, y mi recomendación Julio César ahorita, es que no solamente escuche, porque a veces a mí eso me pasaba, a veces yo escuchaba, 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 pero por mucho que escuchaba, a veces yo no entendía, entonces yo decía, no siento que avance, porque, pero estoy escuchando, ¿qué pasa? Vaya, entonces lo que yo empecé a hacer, y es lo que yo le voy a recomendar ahorita, empecemos a aprendernos palabras, ¿sí? Cinco palabras diarias, cinco palabras diarias, apréndase no solamente la palabra como vaya, cook, cocinar, no, apréndase la cook, ¿qué significa cook? Eh, manejémosla a tal grado que usted entienda que cook también puede significar esto, lo otro, cómo lo uso en una oración y además de eso, el, la pronunciación. Entonces, que sea bien completa la manera como se está aprendiendo la palabra. Cinco palabras diarias, Un, una dos en la mañana, dos en la tarde y una en la noche o una al mediodía, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted sabe la manera como usted puede aprendérsela. Usted se conoce, me imagino yo, pero si no se conoce, podríamos tomar un examen que es qué tipo de aprendiz, aprendiz es usted. Por ejemplo, yo, eh, mi manera de aprender es repitiendo las palabras hasta memorizarlas y escribiéndolas, porque soy un aprendiz muy visual. Entonces, yo le escribo y le escribo y tengo que ver la palabra, si no, no la aprendo. Le escribo, veo la escritura, repaso la escritura y me la repito, la repito. Entonces, yo repetición y escritura es mi manera de aprender. Pero si usted hace, aprende más escuchando una palabra, grábela, grábela muchas veces y escúchela, escúchela, ¿verdad? Si usted eh, aprende escribiéndola, escríbala, todo, 25 veces si es posible, ¿verdad? Ahí depende de cómo usted aprende. Tiene que identificar primero cómo usted es la mejor manera de aprender. Y entonces, es lo que tenemos que hacer es incrementar el vocabulario ahorita aprendiendo las palabras que usted pueda, y si quiere, en vez de ir leyendo ahorita, perdón, escuchando, cómprese un libro de los que venden en el, en el centro, ¿se ha fijado que venden, valen un dólar? Uh -huh, ¿En inglés? Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Vaya, yo tengo cómprese, uno, parece, por ahí. Vaya, cómprese ese libro, empiécelo a leer, y usted vaya entendiendo por el contexto, teacher, pero es que yo puedo reading, no es listening, sí, pero lo que tenemos que incrementar ahorita es el vocabulario para que cuando usted llegue al listening, usted ya entienda más porque va a ir, usted ya sabe más palabras, ¿me entiende? Entonces usted va escuchando y dice, esa palabra ya la escuché, significa esto, dice. Entonces usted así le va a ir captando más. Entonces la combinación de desarrollar su oído con la combinación del vocabulario, eso le va a ayudar. Así que ahorita si quiere trabajemos en eso, Julio César, incrementamos el, voca incrementemos el vocabulario un poco más y luego eh, cuando tenga tiempo lo va escuchando también, va escuchando música, películas, pero siento más que debemos eh, ahorita incrementar más el vocabulario para que entendamos más y el ICNN sea muy, con mucho más éxito, ¿me entiendes? Ok, ok. Bueno, Julio, eso es lo que yo le puedo dice. decir y no, no se me frustre, ¿ok? Cualquier cosa no. que estamos, okay, hasta gracias. el momento, ¿hay algo más en lo cual yo le puedo ayudar? Pues no, hay muchas cosas, pero no sé, <ríe> o sea, pero por el momento eso... Hágame un Ajá. favor, Julio César, con respecto a los temas que hemos visto, que realmente usted se ha fijado que no han sido muchos, sino que hemos estado más que todo practicando speaking, listening hágame una lista si la tiene si no al menos un par de cosas o lo que a usted le está costando ahorita además de, de listening y me lo manda al whatsapp ¿sí? Okay. y ya yo le mando un audio o un video lo que sea para nosotros poder completar eso ¿le parece? ok, sí me parece porque sé que okay. hay muchas cosas más 
pero mándemelas en WhatsApp. Así como mandó el audio ahora, mándemelo y me dice, teacher, mire, ¿se acuerda de este tema que usted nos dio del my y el could? No lo entendí. Va, de ahí, teacher, el otro tema, este y este, tampoco. Entonces, tenemos dos opciones. Me manda eso, yo hago, veo la manera como podemos complementar esa enseñanza, ese aprendizaje, perdón. Y cuando pueda también, si alguna clase no le, no le quedó muy clara, volvamos a ver. En la lista de reproducción que mandé, en la de YouTube, ahí están todas las clases. ¿La tiene? Sí. Perfecto. Sí. También podemos hacer eso. Entonces, eh, Julio César, muchas gracias por su tiempo. Gracias. Eh, gracias a usted por el suyo, teacher. Por su confianza también. Y, okay. y sigamos, sigamos haciendo lo mejor posible. Yo sé que que, que, que ahí va a estar, vamos a seguir en los cursos, ok, ok yes. bueno, sí, <ríe> bueno Julio César que tenga una excelente noche y cuídese okay, mucho, feliz ¿eh? noche, gracias, cuídese, bueno, gracias. adiós Julio César adiós.